Hi and good evening. So uh, this, as you can see, is not the Micromate review or the first print or anything. It's actually a little bit of a troubleshooting video because I just want to give you guys an update. I know there's a lot of you waiting for some more content about the Micromac L2 SLA DLP whatever LCD 3D printer, Resin 3D printer. So I'm just going to show you what's up. So I have been for the last uh, couple of nights, I have been trying this out. I was going to print some stuff with some of these resin here. So these are the parts that's inside the machine. Well, we have the build plates, uh, build chamber or build tank, I suppose. This is some resin that I drew with a UV light because I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't making any mistakes with the resin. And these here are, of course, the resin bottles. So what happened, Anton? Well, the thing is that the machine is quite open, <laughs> as you can see. So uh, I was having some issues that nothing really happened when I printed out, but uh, I kind of realized then that I saw some lead light coming out and especially through uh, some small gaps here in the construction. But I mean, I couldn't really get anything to print. So that was really confusing because as soon as I took out the resin and tried with like curing it with a UV light, I could get everything to work. So that was really strange. So what I ended up doing was just checking out what's under uh, underneath and we have this LCD screen. So this is the part that separates the UV light from the, um, well, we can't really see it in here, but it's in there somewhere. There's the UV light source. And this one here filters out, so it's the, I suppose, selective laser, or I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna talk about that in a review, but this separates light where it should and shouldn't be. So this is the, the full HD uh, resolution thingy. I realized that it didn't work. There, there are some, some test functions built in the software, as you can see here but they didn't give anything out. So I, I started to suspect something was wrong with that. And when I dug in, I could <laughs> kind of find this part here. Let me try to focus on that for you. So here we have, this is the connector between the screen and this component here, which is hanging in the air, but it seems like it's supposed to do that. So let me get an even better shot. So that's connected to, to this part here. And uh, well, as you can see, if I can get it on tape, it's kind of broken. It has a pretty big crack over there, so that is not how a cable should look. And uh, this is, and this is of course just a regular shipping damage. So I already uh, talked to Micromec, they are sending a new part uh, immediately of the warranty. And uh, we should be up and running as soon as that part gets here, but that's probably going to be a few days. So um, that means that the review can't start filming in a few days. Yeah, so uh, great support from them. They all are going to check out the manufacturing as well to see if they can ship it even easier. But uh, I mean, that's that's just where we're at right now. So um, thanks for patient. Uh, let me know if there's any questions I can ask about or answer about this machine. And uh, we'll go from there. See you guys in the next video. Bye.